Street. Good afternoon and welcome back to the Coffee Vanners. I'm Alan. I'm I. And this is January's YouTube collaboration. So this is a collaboration of YouTube channels from caravans, motorhomes and camper vans. So there will be some links below. Please go and check out their channels and you'll see the little flashy thing up here I think somewhere or it might be up here depending on where it goes of, of all the channels that are involved great bunch of guys so please go and check them out and give them a like and a subscribe help them along the way with their YouTube channels so today's topic is most visit places <laughs> we, we've chosen sites haven't we the places that we've actually got booked, so we're going to look generally at the areas that we've booked. Yeah, we're starting to look if there's an e-bike, not an e-bike route, just somebody who's on a normal bike route, that's but what we're looking at. We were sort of contemplating and we are looking at Ali's not a great cyclist, I've got a big touring bike, but Ali's not a great cyclist and she had bad knees and she's not 100% not on a bike to start off with, are you? No. So we no. thought we'd have a look at uh, different areas. So this is what we've chosen and somewhere where you may like to consider in 2022. <laughs> Okay, let's have a look at the areas where we're going. And so the first one we think you may be really interested in is the Peak District National Park. And for this we've chosen uh, Long Nor Wood, which is a tranquil park, adult only touring park. I like adult ones, don't we? We do. And, and this area uh, where we're looking at is near Buxton and of course that's a spa, spa town so we can uh, we can go and enjoy the the sort of spa experience as well as being close to places like Chatsworth House and having loads of walking and cycling sort of areas around the place and we think Derbyshire is one of those places that really doesn't get the accreditation it really should. No it doesn't, we can go out on the bikes and see what we can do. We can walk because we do like to walk. Yeah. We do I, like I to of, walk. One of the things we noticed about Derbyshire when we were looking on Google Maps, and if you click on the uh, sort of layers and you look at the walking and cycling places around there, is there's loads of abandoned railway lines that have been turned into cycle paths and walking routes, uh, as well yeah. as having the sort of normal. Uh, national park things that are that are available so the peak district is our first and really first we're looking Sunday. forward to that we're going there at easter aren't we yeah we're going there at easter so we'll let you guys know how we feel about it i think it'll be a good one i'm looking forward to it yeah it's going to be fantastic that one right well, alan's got to learn me because i haven't been on the bike for 15 years whether I can cope with it or not. It's going to be a Let challenge, is that? We're going to, the bikes, Ali's bike's going to, mine's already arrived and Ali's is going to arrive in the next couple of days. So we're going to have to be uh, out and about and Ali's pretty much going to learn to ride a bike again. <laughs> Yes. Gonna, I gonna, need to ride a bike. Again. Gonna be an Don't interesting know. one. Yeah. We, may, we may vlog that. Who knows? Right. <laughs> we might the, fall out. <laughs> you might fall off. I don't know about fall out. Yeah, I'll probably fall off. Right. right. Okay. Right. Carry the, on. the second one, and we're, we've only got three on this uh, on this on this video. Firth of Forth, or just north of Edinburgh, which we think is an area that a lot, a lot of people don't visit too much. No. So we're looking at the five coast, but we're also within travelling distance of Stirling, Perth, St Andrews, as a d sort yeah. of inland cities. And we've also got the coastal path around Glenrothes, north of the Forth Bridge, all yeah. the way up to Lucas, and maybe as far north as Dundee. So yeah. we're going there for a week, and we think we've got a, a cracking area there. What's it called? the Lomond Hills Regional Park. Yes. So it's, that'll be somewhere that'll be really interesting to visit, won't it? We've never been there. We haven't been there. 
No. no. So uh, it'll be it'll good be something, camp sites. And it'll be something new. Yeah. And somewhere pretty interesting to go and visit. Definitely. So maybe that'll be something you can put on your list. But we'll be doing videos of all these anyway, so we can wait and see. And third and finally, where we, again, somewhere we've both never been. I used to live in Wiltshire and I uh, travelled a lot of Dorset and the South Coast and, and gone down to sort of Western Supermare, which was which was kind of an evening drive for us to go and have a uh, an ice cream and things. And also sort of to go down to sort of Buckfast Abbey, round the Exeter area, maybe as far south as Torquay. So we're actually going to go and have a holiday in that area, and we're going for two weeks, aren't we? To the to this. Yes. Uh, do you class it as North Devon? It's west of, of Exeter, but not as far as Plymouth. So we've never been to that area, have we? No. So we're look, looking we're, forward to it. So the site we're going to is called Woodland Springs and again it's Tranquil Park Adult only site and it's located between Exeter and Orkhampton so it's not far off the A303 no. so we're looking forward to the traffic jams on the way down <laughs> uh, because that's what the A303 does doesn't it yeah. it's permanent car park but for for places to visit we're thinking we've got the Dartmoor National Park but you're not a million miles away from Torquay, Paynton, Brixham, that sort of south area, but we can also go to places like the home of Cottage Cream, so we're told places like Tiverton. Yeah, definitely. So we can have a, a sort of, a, a maybe them. an even, even stretch maybe to the north coast, Barnstable, maybe even get over towards Tintagel, yeah. places like that. Who knows yeah. where we'll go, but we think that that sort of North Devon is a place that uh, a lot of people don't really visit in caravans. They tend to head further south and head into Cornwall. We think yeah. Devon's going to be something somewhere a little bit different. Yeah, we just want something a little bit different because we've always gone abroad. This is new to us, the caravan in England, but believe it or not, England's got a lot to offer to you, but you've got to look for it. And and of course, being caravanners, going to places like uh, Devon means we'll be able to get over to places like Buckfast Abbey, uh, which means we'll be able to get some of the Buckfast Abbey mead, won't we? Yeah. Taste a bit yeah. of that cider through maybe cheddar on the way down. Who yeah. who knows what we'll do? But you know what it's like for caravan and alcohol. It's, it kind of comes with the territory, doesn't it? Right, so that's three places in the UK where we think it's a must to visit in 2022. Let's hope we get the weather. Let's hope there's going to be no more COVID restrictions and get rid of all this rubbish that we've got at the moment <laughs> and we can actually start to get out and enjoy ourselves. So for this video, for this collaboration, please go and check out everybody else, check out their videos. I'm sure you'll love, love some of the other channels. Uh, but for this video, you take care, you stay safe, and we'll see you in the next one. Ta-da. Bye.